Hey there, yet another one of my methods. <coughs> Today we're going to talk about setting the front apron canvas. Uh, we've reached this stage where the steaking is done, the back is cut out, the main canvas, which extends from the buckle all the way to the, le the outside of the inside apron, the end of the inside apron, with no cuts or anything else in it, properly herringbone stitched, so there's a little give this way, no give that way because it doesn't matter. Now we set <coughs> The, apron, the canvas for the front apron. We can't just set it in straight like that, parallel to the uh, parallel to the tartan edge, because when we do and then shape the apron, it's going to wind up in like that in the finished kilt. That's a little exaggerated, but not much. So we have to offset it. The trick is, how do we find that angle? We take a look at this curve, and looking down from above, we fiddle with it so that it's symmetric from side to side. That looks it to me. Now we've got this fold here, that's where the buttonhole is, and we use that as a mark to go against. So I've made that cut, sorry, I made that chalk. Now I, I use a piece of modeler's plastic, styrene plastic, as a cutting guard, because I'm always afraid that my scissors are going to cut more than I wish. So. Cut that, and I'm going to place it inside, and as you can see, I'm placing it, I'm placing it right up against the seam. And fiddle it in place, set my uh, guard underneath, because when I'm, so often when I'm sewing, I tend to, I tend to pick, I'm almost using, I'm sewing like a quilter, and I don't want to scar up this table. Well, this table's horribly scarred. I have to redress this and redress this surface again. I'm going to pin it. I'm going to take a um, strap and put it through the buttonhole and mark its outside edges, or top and bottom, so plus a little bit, plus like an eighth of an inch. So that's about right. Now I take a look underneath and see where is the edge of that pleat. It's right there. So I know that when I'm sewing this on, and I'm going to do a herringbone stitch as we have here, and I'm going to do it from probably about over here. I'm going to do a herringbone stitch there. <coughs> With that line there, I know that I'm not going to go so far as in as to, so that the stitches would be visible from the outside on that pleat, because that's only two thicknesses of cloth. And then from there, I will do a lacing stitch, which I'll show in, uh, in another video in a little while. So there we go. Cheers.